Welcome to the Art Hall of a YouTube channel dedicated to sharing, exploring, and discovering the art world of America. We're so lucky. We have this amazing artist, Paula Cox. I can't even tell you how excited I am. Look at her work. It's awesome. These smoke pieces are made on handmade paper that I made, and they are reminiscent of the soil and the land, and they are about the wildfires that went through the Fort Davis area this spring. And the animals themselves are prints, linoleum prints, that were printed on them. But what is a linoleum print? Linoleum print, it's a... Um, oh, Actually, if you can, I have one over there, if I could go get it. Awesome, yeah. <laughs> Let me go get it. Constant state of discovery here. Yes. Let's see if I can find it. Okay. These are linoleum prints. Oh, wow. That are easy to carve, easy to cut out. You can ink them up and then press them onto the paper and make multiples of them. Wonderful. And that's what all of this work is made from. Wow. So Paula, how'd you get started in how'd you get started in um, art? Art. Well, I was one of those kids in school who could draw well in elementary school and just never stopped drawing. So art's always been a part of my life growing up. Cool. Well, um, can you explain to us how you went from sculpture to the drawings to the paintings? Like, can you tell maybe the, the younger viewers like how it all connects? How it all connects? Well, I like to draw and I like to paint. And those two, this is an exploration of those two mediums. And I'm also doing a little bit of printmaking, relief printmaking, which is a very easy form awesome. of printing. And you can use a lot of color. I, I noticed you, you seem to really love color. Is yes. that something about maybe like how you believe it, it like maybe light? So here at the art column, we kind of see life and art in general, you know, as a journey, not necessarily a strict definition or a destination. What kind of journey are you on? Where do you see art is taking you? Art is, uh, is taking me someplace different every day. And I respond to things around me, things that come into my life new and different and I just interpret what's going on. Awesome. Well, we love you and we love your work. Thank, Thank you. you so much Thank you. for sharing. Welcome to Art Collins. I'm the host of Film Dot. It's today for us Blue Star Lab. It's amazing. And we're lucky to have this gentleman right here. Paul Cruz. The journey right now, specifically to the show, was to help document uh, the process by uh, Kim Bishop, Luis Mandetta, and Paul Carroll. But more importantly, my journey right now, and this kind of solidified it, is collaboration. The, the beauty of someone having an initial thought and being able to do it. And people like helping with that thought. Absolutely. Yeah. As you'll see with, with all the processes, you know, I named the... It's like a wave. It's like, it's like, it's like a motion. We get started in art. Is, is photography art? Absolutely. Absolutely. You know, a lot of times we... I was talking to another artist just a, a few minutes ago about how the story that we tell them and how we create that sometimes is actually telling the story of somebody else. And when we do a good job as a photographer, as an artist, then people are able to see the story that they might have or whoever the subject matter is. And they get a, they get a better understanding simply because I've captured just a second of that for them. Awesome, so it's like almost historically What's happening in the present? Good point. The, uh, the, the artist that I was talking to, he says, I need to do more of that because I need to, to preserve the historic nature of what I'm doing. I'm involved in, I'm going to get better, I'm going to go in different directions. So these snippets, whether it be video or stills, they, they document historically where that person's at and where that person's art is at. And where are you? This is my studio. 
Um, we're setting up, we're preparing for a video shoot that we'll be doing next week, but we're going to take some, uh, give it an acoustic treatment here and bring in some other art that we want to display. But anyway, we're doing some tests tonight and from here and uh, perhaps a few more tests on Friday, we'll be able to better determine what that show is going to take uh, for next week. And all that, you have an opportunity to see some of the people that were involved in the process. And to, to your point earlier, uh, my journey right now is in collaboration because that just brings so much. What, what is collaboration? Collaboration, I think, you know, to me, has represented someone that has come up with a core idea and they need support mechanisms. To implement the idea. To implement the idea. So I have no problem myself not being, uh, being the, the third fiddle, the fourth fiddle in the mix because it adds up to the end product being a realization. and the Melinda Martinez studio, which is kind of like an art space in San Antonio, Texas. Can you tell us a little bit about this space? Yes, I've been um, open for two years now, and it's a contemporary art space in the uptown area of San Antonio. And what I do is promote local artists, and I show different artists here uh, for First Friday and Third Friday. Awesome. Uh, and can you tell us a little bit about what's happening behind you? Uh, that is a uh, visual projection by an artist that's displaying here this month. Where is here? At the Melinda Martinez Studio in Southtown. Uh, awesome. Artist is Kevin. Is that Lincoln. San Antonio, Texas? That is San Antonio, Texas. Oh, San Antonio. <laughs> Down in Southtown. Awesome. 